We have a serious airdrop problem. And if you ever use Ethereum, it is very likely that you are eligible for a new airdrop. And I get very excited about airdrops, but like I said, we have a problem. I love airdrops. There are going to be airdrops in 2022 that I am excited for, that I hope to be participating in. But because of all the hype and this new trend of airdrops, of course, bad actors will enter into the space. I want to make this clear again, though. I love airdrops. There will be very lucrative airdrops in 2022, but there are things that you have to look out for. I also am going to tell you about this new airdrop that you may be eligible for and what you need to look out for. So this all started with the SOS airdrop, a very unusual airdrop, because typically airdrop tokens are airdrop from the protocol itself. But in this case of SOS, these were tokens that were airdropped to OpenSea users. However, this wasn't actually from OpenSea. So when we all found out this news, it was very suspicious. Typically, this would be a scam, but the contracts were looked through, everything was safe, and this token is even now trading on centralized exchanges such as KuCoin, Huobi, and others as well. So like we said, following this hype and this trend, people will copy. And then just recently, we saw another airdrop for the gas DAO. And if you yourself have ever spent more than $15.59 on Ethereum gas, you are eligible to claim this token. And right after I saw this, my immediate thought was, this is a scam. This project saw what SOS did and they are capitalizing. But after the contracts were looked through, this is safe. This gas token is not ruggable and 100% safe to claim and trade. It's even now listed on centralized exchanges such as MEXE Global and Gate.io. However, this is not the full story because when we look at the SOS token, this was a true airdrop for a DAO. There was no public sale or private sale, all fair, free drop, no VC, no founders, no team. So zero tokens were reserved for anyone. But when it comes to this gas style token, 15% was reserved for 25 core contributors. So this is a legitimate contract, right? It's safe to claim. However, we are seeing that it's very easy now for projects to capitalize on this hype by creating a project, it could be done in a day or two, reserving a certain amount for the team or the founders, and then all of a sudden, they can make money very, very quickly. And very funny, ironic about this gas style token, this was airdrop to people who spent gas, but yesterday there was a period in time where gas style burned the most gas on Ethereum, more than 133 Ethereum. So we have this token here that if you've ever spent money on gas, you can go to this website, gasstyle.org, connect your wallet and claim these tokens. However, with this hype, like we said, bad actors will come and we already are seeing it. It's not a question if, it's a question when. And we recently saw a MetaMask token scam. As we know, MetaMask will be having a token in the future. Joe Lubin from Consensus did confirm there will be a token, but we don't have any details yet. And following this news and this hype, Scammers released a fake MetaMask token, and this tweet puts it perfectly. There was a lot of noise about a potential MetaMask airdrop. Based on this hype, someone created Mask, but Mask is not related to MetaMask, and this was a scam. It's not a question if, it's a question when. We will see two types of dangers moving forward. The first one is people capitalizing on these airdrops by releasing smart contracts that are actually malicious smart contracts, and will steal your crypto. And the second is actual legitimate contracts, right? That are safe to use. However, there is a large percentage distributed for the original founders. And it's a very quick and easy way for them to make money. And something I said in a previous video is that when it comes to these claimable airdrops, I like to wait to claim them if I either want to trade it, sell it, or use it for its utility, or I need to claim it before the expiration date for claiming. And the main reason for US tax purposes is that when you claim an airdrop, whatever it's worth when you claim, you will be taxed on that amount. But because these tokens are brand new, these are basically meme coins and they're so volatile, you may claim tokens, let's say you're in the United States, that's worth $2,000 at the time, you pay a percentage of tax on that 2000 but then the next day, because these are so new and volatile, they may crash and you may not have the money to pay those taxes. And like I said, we're gonna see more of this in 2022. And I don't want you guys to think 
that I'm bearish on airdrops. I am extremely bullish on airdrops, especially for 2022. And my belief is that we will see airdrops for Ethereum layer two protocols. And if you want to know what these protocols are and how to participate, go ahead and watch this video link right above and in the description down below. I hope you guys have a great day. Let me know if you actually claim this gas airdrop and how much you were able to receive. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.